Hey guys, welcome to Downtown Tailoring. Today we are going to shorten the sleeve on this jacket, so let's go. My goal for this video is that you'll be able to do this alteration after washing it a couple of times. What I do, I measure my customer, I check first that the customer has the two arms the same length and pin everything and then I remove all the pins and leave just one measurement underneath the arm. After I have my measurement, I mark exactly where I pin with my shock and then I will proceed to remove everything so I can work from a blank slate. I will remove carefully the bottoms and I cannot stress enough this point because everybody like, like just to pull it, but you don't want to poke the material. You want the material to have the less marks you can. So I remove everything and then the bottoms, I try to keep them safe because the last thing I would want is to lose one of those bottoms. So I put it up where no children can reach. There is no children in my store. Where I'm pulling the buttons and um, everything is so tight, what I'm going to do, I will open first the lining so I can reach inside better. And uh, when the lining is open, I will give you a trick. I use this pin to make sure that the lining won't twist too much because sometimes you can twist it inside and then after you finish your alteration, the customer want to try on and they cannot even pull the arm through. Believe me, that happens. So I'm going to pull my thread now that I'm inside and the next step is to remove the bottoms holes because the bottoms holes will be too low after I do the hemming so better just to remove them. These bottoms holes are very easy to remove. I just want checking what is the side where there are sewn and then I'm going from the last point and open that stitch and then now I can go to the top part and pull the thread and yes. I will have a little bit of the holes you see but nothing that I cannot remove with the iron. Then I will go proceed to the second one and it's done the third and that way I can remove all my button holes without too much of the pain. If the button holes are not like that, then it might be a problem. You have to check what you have to do, okay? That's really, really important. What I'm gonna do now, I will do my first iron just to be sure to start, you know, softening the material where the button holes were because I want to erase those holes. I will be ironing so much that, that at the the end you won't see anything and uh, you see they are uh, starting to disappear now my next step is to see what I'm gonna do you see the original hem usually is one inch and a half but in my case I prefer to do two inches hem just in case like if the customer says oh it's too short I can lengthen without any problem but the standard for those hems usually is one inch and a half. I'm opening the slits because I'm not shortening that sleeve so much, which means that I have to have the slit all the way down open so I can mark and cut my material. And uh, I'm just checking how much I need to shorten. I'm checking in my other sleeve to see that I'm marking the same. I'm always checking that both sleeves will be exactly at the same length because I already checked that the customer has the same arm length. Some people have different arm length. That's why it's so important. So I am smoothing out the creases so I can measure the hem comfortably. I'm doing the measurement all the way. But to be honest, you really don't need to do it this way. You can just go and do two points and just make your line. But um, I feel more comfortable to go little by little. For cutting it as well, you can just cut everything together. But in my case, I prefer to go, you know, step by step. I just feel better better and more comfortable so I already mark and cut my two sleeve and then I'm just checking that they are the same length and everything is good 
Now let me check the interfacing inside. I check that the interfacing won't cover the crease line, so I will have to glue more. So I'm just extending my sleeve and I always buy those rolls of interfacing, just cut it like that because it makes my life easier. I'm cutting it. You could go over too, but I prefer not to do it just in case I have to do further alteration with the sleeve. Sometimes customer want to taper or things like that. So I just uh, leave it free so I can work with it easier. I am gluing everything, you see, little by little, and I will be ready to make my creases and everything. Usually when I glue the interfacing, the hemline sometimes disappear. If that is the case, you just mark it again. Don't worry about that. Two inches and that's it. So my next step is to start to make my creases. You see, I have my line mark and where my line is, I just fold it and take my iron and go. And look at that. When I fold this one, they don't kiss each other, you see? So we have to work on that later, don't worry. I just wanted to show you that. Now is the time for the slit. I will iron just this part and you see, usually some people do the slit in a different way. Some people do like that. Some people fold it in this way. Me, myself, I like to do it in the standard proper way which is with the mitered corners i think this is the best way if the hem were like the original like a one inch and a half would be so easy because you just have to basically fold in 40 degree angles and where the corner is you just go in a straight way like a, let me show you with the pins you see and then you just fold it this way and you will have your corners so easy but in my case because i do the two inches slit i have to help doing this marking with the shock so i just mark the point with the slit is supposed to be and then i mark underneath and then i open my whole slit You see, they will be sewn like that. And then I will just uh, move my mark underneath. Well, the last mark I, you didn't need to do really. And I will just fold it there and, uh, you know, mark with mark. And then I will stitch it. And then after I stitch, I put my fingers in the point and then turn it and it should be okay. Let's say in this case, I wasn't really so happy with the slit because I felt like a, it doesn't look that square, like a, you see like a bubble at the end. I really didn't like it, but notice that I really didn't sew it the right way. So I'm just doing it again. And you know, the second times was good. You see, you really get the corner square and then you just iron and you see how sharp it is. Mm, paper cuts. Yes. So I'm going to do the same as my other slit and this time I was lucky because my first time was good and I could just iron it and I was okay, good to go. You see how nice they look? So my next step is to now to finish the other side. After I know that I have my slit well, I just put it in the table again and what I'm gonna do is to make sure that more or less the two parts of the slit the hems are in the same line now i'm going back to my sewing machine and what i have to do is you see the crease line i will fold the crease line in the opposite way and don't worry about the side sometimes they don't match so you have to go to the crease line and then sew it and then you are going to pull it out and you can use the help of screwdriver or something to pull out your corner and then i will clip and will sew my two slit together two sides of the slits together and i have to go down deep so they are good you see so now my slit is done completely and i will go to the inside back and remember when i show you before that the two sides didn't kiss what you have to do is to go a little bit out and you will solve that problem very easy in this case it was clip but it's okay it's okay it works well you see 
Now is the time for the lining. For the lining, what you have to do is to cut the same amount you cut at the top, you cut to the lining. This is not really the best option, but it's the easiest one. You just take the same amount and you will be okay. And remember the safety pin we put? Now we know that everything is all aligned, no problem. I am going to the underneath seam and I will open the top stitch. They always leave that stitch there. So it's very easy to open because I have to close the lining so I have to go in so basically what I'm gonna do I will go and put my hand inside and then I will put together the two pieces and then I will pull it out this way and I will start sewing I'm sewing from the underneath to one side when I finish I take the same underneath and then go to the other side. Always this is the easiest way to sew the inside. You can sew all around but it really doesn't work that well. This is the best way to do it, the easiest one. So you go again to the other side and then you can use this hem fusing tape and you can when you stitch, you stitch all together so when you iron it will stick very well. I do not use this one to be honest. I I prefer to hem it but um, you do what works for you so here you go this is the way it looks and now I will tack the inside seam again so what I'm gonna do you see the seam allowance I will sew it to the top part I will take it like that and I will be very careful sewing this line because you can cut something underneath or whatever this is a little bit delicate to do but you do it you check that you didn't cut anything is everything okay let me check outside yes nothing pulling but you see now it's all attached I will show you the hem I like to do I prefer to do that instead of the hem facing you see I just do a very very fast hem by hand and make sure that everything will be flat and now is the time to close back the lining the way it was before and here you go it's all done you see the lining should be like that folding a little bit this is for the ease so the people can move their arms and uh, now you just iron it a little bit to give it the shape i will sew the bottoms now and i have this little plate that i use this is like a cardboard with the bottoms mark this one is when the bottoms are on top of each other but i have one as well for when the bottoms are one besides the other i use this one but you don't need you can just measure one quarter inch from the bottom three quarter inch from the sides and the way I sew my buttons you see I check if they have some like this one so kind of mud or something and I make sure that all the prints are facing in the same side so that looks much better and when I sew the buttons I don't sew the buttons the same way I just go a little bit like a, if I'm sewing beads more or less in the sense that I don't cut the thread in between and I just sew all of them you see this one are overlapping one on top of each other you see this is the wave the mother way this is more elegant and um, this is the way I did it this is the way it was before and here you go this is the sleeve they are already shortened in this jacket in fact we did the back the center back the sides back we took in at the collar too because it was creasing too much so now it's good to give a quick blow so everything falls nice and that's what all for today i hope that you like this video please don't forget to subscribe share let me know in the comment if you really understand this is a very difficult job but um, i hope that you understood let me know if you think you are able to do it thank you bye